Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel of St. Wilfrid's College of Arts, Commerce, Science, Panvel. Today's topic is Organization Development Part 5, that is the Lecture 5, presented by Assistant Professor Tapasa Patel, St. Wilfrid College of Arts, Commerce, Science, Panvel. Now we'll be starting with the change agents. Yes, the meaning of change agents. A change agent is anyone who has a skill or a power to stimulate, facilitate, and coordinate the change effort. Change agents may be either external or internal. Yes, a change agent is the person exactly who have that skill, exactly who have that power to stimulate, also to facilitate and coordinate the change. Yes, who guides the change with. Yes, who takes the effort for the change who coordinates when the change is being done in the organization, when the organization is being going for the change, he is the person who coordinated that thing and he put it, it's all efforts. So, so and the change agent could be the external also and internal also. The change agent is an individual or a group who carry out the task of instigating, instigating, and and managing change in the organization. Yes, he is could be an individual, could be a group who carry out the task of instigating and managing the change in the organization. He or she is someone who directly or indirectly influences the change. Yes, he or she who influences the change either directly or either indirectly. That is, the change agents are appointed by the organizations to transform the ways the organization is managed or the business is conducted. So the change agents are occupied, appointed by the organization to transform the ways the organization is managed and business has been conducted. Next, we are moving with the change agents features. Now, what were the features of the change agents? Homophily. Homophily is what this implies the extent of closelessness which exists between the client and also the change agent. Now, this is what the extent of closeness, closeness, or closeness, which exists between whom? Between the client and the change agent. The change is expected to achieve the successful outcome, CS. Yes. Now, for what we are going for the change exactly, what is the reason we go for the change is what we get a successful outcomes. If the extent of closeness is higher between them, Next, we could go for an empathy. Yes, after homophily, we go for an empathy. The change agent should be empathetic and should be able to understand the other person's emotions and thoughts. Yes, how the change agent should be, he should be totally empathetic and he should be able to understand what other person feels, what other person understands and what other person has their emotions and has their thoughts. This understanding with strengthen client and change agents relationship will improve the communication in turn will favorably influence the change linkage linkage implies the extent linkage implies the extent of collaborative relationship which exists between the client and the change agent now Linkage is what extract exactly the extent of collaborative relationship which exists between whom, which exists between the client and the change agent. The stronger is the bond, the more likely is the possibility of achieving success from the change implementation. Yes, how the stronger would be the bond, the bond, the more likely is the possibility of achieving the success for the change implementation. Next, proximity. The client as well as the change agent should be readily available to each other. Yes, the client and the change agent should be readily available to each other. It's because greater the accessibility, stronger will be the bond or the relationship between two. Yes. Next, we can go for structuring. Structuring, this involves effective and step-by-step -step planning of various activities associated with the implementation of change. Yes, so step-by-step, step, it involves what? 
the step by step planning of various activities in the implementation of change now what should be implemented of the what that should be decided previously effective planning maximizes the possibility of achieving success yes when if you do your planning properly that which should be considered after which or what should be considered after what so it would be simple to achieve the uh, it would be easily achieved the success in the change process next we can go for capacity capacity is this factor is connected with organization's capability in providing the required resources now capacity is what this factor is connected with the organization's capability in providing the required resources which are initially needed for successfully implementing or interventions and the change openness openness is what exactly it refers to the ability of change agent as well as management in facilitating an open environment for building facilitating mechanism and fostering mutual respect trust and sensitivity towards the feeling of others yes next openness is what it refers to the ability of the change agent as well as management in facilitating an open environment for building and facilitating mechanism and fostering mutual respect trust and sensitivity towards feeling of others next is reward any change initiative should have the potential for benefiting the beneficiaries both in the short run as well as in the long run a reward is what exactly a change initiative should be had the potential for benefiting the beneficiaries and then in the short run or long run the higher the potential for the rewards greater will be the expected expected commitment of the participants yes now whatever rewards we are providing to the um, participants as per that they would be show their commitment energy energy implies the extent of efforts applied for making change re re reliable yes so energy was both mental as well as physical energy energy could be both mental as well as physical energy directed in the focused manner for achieving this energy in the outcomes next we are going for the change agent types now what are the change agent types internal or the external external now there are the two change agent types now internal change agent is what when the change agent is internal to the organization then he or she is usually a usually in the employees such as manager senior executive leader hr professional or any other person from staff who has mastered in the behavioral sciences and intervention technology of od yes now internal change agent is what the person can be anyone can be manager can be senior executive he can be the leader he can be hr professional or any other person who has been mastered in the behavioral sciences and intervention technology of od now external change agent now who would be an external change agent the external change agent is the one who is brought to the organization from outside such as consultant yes now this person is not working within the organization now this external change agent is an outside person the person could be a consultant yes working for our organization so the company's rules and regulations policies are not imposed on them so the company's rules and regulations are not imposed on this change agent this means what exactly the external ones and so then they can deeply analyze and bring different view points so they can deeply analyze and bring different view points to a situation and challenge the existing state of affairs they can bring the view points to the situation and challenge the existing state of affairs however this can also be seen as advantage or this can also be seen as an advantage as the external change agent is not aware of company's history work processes and personal see now what is the uh, disadvantage is as the external change agent is not aware aware of the company's history and all so they should be considered as a disadvantage next 
we could go with role of change agent now what could be the role of change agent change agent aim at making changes in existing processes or culture for organization that sticks yes change agent can aim for what making changes in the existing processes yes what are the strategies what are the policies which would be running in the organization which has been followed by the organization the culture which has been followed by the organization so that could be changed through the change agents and to do so they focus on the matters relating to the organizational effectiveness innovation and advancement he or she is someone who always seek an opportunity for change yes he or she is someone what who always seek opportunity for change determines the best approach and bring about change yes you can go for determine the best approach and bring about change they are the one who possesses skills and competencies to initiate facilitate coordinate organizational change change agents help the organization in understanding the requirement and relevance for change and takes all necessary steps required to manage change and also anticipates the problem that might to take place during and after the changes implemented in the organization yes he or she is responsible to transform the vision into the realistic plan and execute it so change agents what help to understanding what is the requirement to the organization and what is the relevant for and what is relevant for the change and what the necessary steps which would be required for to manage the change next is skills of change agent now what are the skills of change agent action skills communication skills cognitive skills yes in the diagram you can see there are the action skills communication skills and cognitive skills we could see in detail cognitive skills are what exactly these skills which require some level of proaction from the side of change agent for the purpose of self understanding conceptualization and evaluation yes these skills require what some level of proaction and which is been shown by whom by the change agent and exactly for purpose is what for self understanding conceptualization and evaluation action skills action skills are what change agent works as consultant researcher trainer and counselor in an organization now action skills is what change agent basically acts as what acts as a researcher acts as a trainer counselor and etc so he or she should possess the required skills and competencies now next communication skills he or she is responsible for spreading change information yes and making the organization realize the need for change for which he or she must possess excellent communication and pervasive skills many multiple corporations have their own in house change specialist yes many organizations have their in house change specialist who works uh, with the management team of organization to recognize the need for change and to facilitate change efforts yes so uh many of the organizations use their in house change agents and many of the uh, organizations use their external change agents which are the consultant what is importance of change agent what is the importance of change agent change agent ensures that there is a goals targets and due dates for project yes he ensures this thing that what are the goals and targets then they keep the people on track to achieve them yes then they keep the people to achieve the people on track to achieve them change agent find ways to hold people accountable and make sure the appropriate rewards or punishments and are handed out necessary change agents are determined and consentious so this is what change agent is important for adopting the change in the organization thank you